Thanks for tuning in this Wednesday. 2K Sports presents the NBA. And tonight, we'll see the New Orleans Pelicans as they go up against the Indiana Pacers. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jonas Valanciunas is hitting a lot of threes. So many so that his teammates started calling him Dirk Valanciunas. He says, I'm just taking what's out there. If I have an open shot, I'll take it. If I'm making it, I'll keep taking it. Simple as that. But, guys, you better believe he still can get it done inside as well. Oh, he can, no question. Thanks, David. Well, we expect to see sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. And But with the way the game is played today, you know, we could see them battling at the arc. <laughs> Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. The guard set will be Halliburton and Duarte. Turner is out there with Neesmith, and it's healed in at the three. And for New Orleans, running on the wing, they'll have Jones and Ingram. Up front, it's Williamson at the four, and Valanciunas at the five. And it's McCollum in at the point. Healed, can't hit. Williamson outside. He's off on that one. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Ingram against Heal. Launches a three. Rebounded by Valanciunas. And here's New Orleans now. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Ingram outside. Pass to Williamson. With one on the clock. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. And Ingram and his court awareness continue to grow. A terrific dime there. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Pelicans lead by two. And will return shortly. Zero. Underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you guys think? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. The defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. And it's the Pelicans ball on the court for the Pacers as our second quarter gets underway. We've got Miles Turner, and it's McConnell in at the one. McCollum outside. It's rebounded by Indiana. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Turner up top, guarded by Valanciunas. Moron, the pass to Matherin, just four to shoot. Here's Turner, drops in the layup for two. Turner's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Pacers. And Matherin proving he can be unselfish, wanting to find his teammates. Here's Alvarado. Kicks it out to McCollum. Fires from deep. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter.
first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. New Orleans with the ball. Ingram in the front court with Williamson. McCollum and Jones are their guard. And it's Valanciunas in at the center, filling out the middle. It's the Pelicans five. Now here's Heald. Brandon Ingram missing his last shot. Halliburton passes to Orte. Kicks it to Heald. There's the drive. Over Ingram. Heald with the bucket. Heald's got the lead up to two now for Indiana. And the ability to drive and get to the rim is one of the reasons why Buddy Heald rarely has an off night. Even if his shot isn't going in, he can take it to the rack to find some points. Valanciunas. It's rebounded by Indiana. You take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Healed with it. Turner with a screen on Ingram. One second left. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. It's the Pacers. They lead by a bucket. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. And a look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. Atherin at the shooting guard. Heald is the small four. Then it's turned. And it's Brissett in at the four slot. A chance for Heald to improve his team's situation. He seems cool and ready to do it. the first and that makes it a three-point lead well healed normally a reliable free throw shooter he's just gonna have to do it under pressure here Two for two at the lock, and it's a four-point ball game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're behind by four. There's 49 seconds left to play in the final quarter. David Aldridge. 
Geiser was able to catch the message Willie Green gave to his team. He told them they have to keep fighting. He said, hey, look, we're right here, but we can't make mistakes. we got to be aggressive and smart. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. The pass to Williamson. Moves back up. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. <laughs> the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. Now here's Heal. 27 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Oh, and he quieted down the crowd with that shot. Big, big play. And that was a punch in the gut to those fans. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They trail by four. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. making a switch here. Substitution on the court. Double team. It counts. And he has brought them to within two points. Well, the key to defending Zion in the paint is don't let him get the ball. After he touches it, damage is going to get done. Timeout call. The Pacers. They're ahead by two. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth.
And now they decide to foul intentionally. Had to foul on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Shooting for Indiana. Ty Reese at the line for two. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three point lead. And we know how dangerous Halliburton is from the strike. Not a guy you want to foul. And the Pacers call time here. They're in front by three. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Point ball game. Well, there is a great calmness to Halliburton's game, and that's going to come in handy here. Here's McCollum. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Miles Turner. First free throw is good, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And they love that it's CJ at the line right now. McCollum is a cool customer. So McCollum heals both of them. Clutch. Those free throws turn this into a one-possession ball game. And now they foul and stop the clock. Personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Pacers. Matthew. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. the first and that makes it a three-point lead just a terrific prospect Matherin gives this offense so many options and he has the physical tools to be a great defender second one is good in both at the line and it's a four-point ball game yeah, that'll ice it right there not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation back to McCollum on deep doesn't go for him 
So a close game sees Indiana take this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. That's a good point. I mean, we could team this might have buckled at the end with the crowd and up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and pulled it out. Well said. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.